Good morning, everyone. Good evening and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Denzelmos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking the past free. If you are new on this channel, I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I talk about spirituality and I talk about personal and self development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share this video with friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back. And I thank you for your love and support. This video is going to go out to the black ships that are leaving dysfunctional family units, toxic family units, narcissistic family units. Now, it is very important for you to understand that you are a curse breaker. When I'm talking about a curse breaker, I'm talking about that individual that is in those families to break certain generational curses and patterns and cycles. Now, there is many black ships who have made some mistakes um, and usually they have returned to dysfunctional family units. First of all, when I talk about breaking out of those units, I do not tell you that it's easy. It is very painful and of course it's very intense. But that is part of the process. For the most of the guys who have returned to those units, actually, they have had it rough. And the abuse actually has intensified. It has started all over again. They have been re-recruited as scapegoats in those families and the abuse has intensified. And the cycles actually have now gone on repeat. So it has not ended well with the, the black ships that are leaving these fractional family units, especially if you have decided to go back and re-engage with those kind of individuals. If you, know that it's, if you know that that is very difficult for you to do, so most of the times what I would advise you to do is to keep yourself at a safe distance. Make sure that you create a safe distance between, because I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, these are, these are things you're not going to take for granted. We're talking about very, very serious things. So you do not take this whole thing of generational cast breaking as something very light. Now, when you leave a dysfunctional family unit, a narcissistic family dynamic, for example, um, there is going to be a very huge shift. There is going to be a very huge shift happening within your life. Personally, you are going to go through a lot of uh, uh, a lot of shifts as you get this awareness and, of course, enlightenment and, of course, you go on this healing journey. You are going to go through massive shifts, shifts, and normally those shifts are going to be very intensive at the beginning. So you are going to have a lot of. Uh, things to deal with, you know, the pain, of course, and then, of course, you are going to mourn. And then, of course, your body is going to start changing. You're going to start changing physically. You will change spiritually. You will change emotionally. So a lot of things are going to be going on uh, within your own personal life. And as you embark on this journey of healing as well, you're also going to get a DNA upgrade. So the DNA, up, the, the DNA upgrade is activated... Uh, during this healing process because now you are detoxing you know you're detoxing and you're removing a lot of negative energy out of your presence out of your energy and um, as you're doing this you're coming back home to yourself so you're getting uh, back to your authentic self and that also means a dna upgrade now when you make a decision to return to those units that means that actually you're choosing to go back to the beginning number one and secondly the cycles that you've been trying to break, you are here to break. They are, they are also going to restart. So it's like a reset. Okay. So when you hear people telling you about those things that leave those guys and go out and heal and focus and work on yourself. What they're simply saying is that when you have decided to leave and you've had enough of this abuse, 
you can best believe that nothing is going to change. Those people, they have not done any work on, uh, on themselves. And the only thing they know is how to abuse you as a scapegoat of the family. So when you re-engage with those kind of individuals, the abuse will reset and everything will start again. So the cycles you are here to break, they are going to start all over again. Now, let us talk about the shift. The family is going to go through a very intensive shift. And that shift is going to be very, very, very uncomfortable. It's going to be very uncomfor un uncomfortable, first of all, for you. Because there is things that you're not ready to see. And there is things you're not even prepared for. So there is things you're going to start hearing that are happening back there. With the families. Could be your fathers, of course. Your narcissistic mothers, fathers, or whatever. These other flying monkeys. A lot of things are going to start happening um, in the unit. It is very important to understand something what they call the paradigm shift. The family is going through a paradigm shift. And there is things that are supposed to be shaken up. The whole system is supposed to go through a shake-up. Now, the shake-up is not comfortable. We already know that any storm, regardless of where you are, whether it's, uh, you're flying or whether you're at the sea or whether you, it's just in your personal life, any storm is uncomfortable. The family is going to go through a very uncomfortable process. So when you're hearing a lot of disasters, you know, there is some people who are getting sick, some people are ill. Even sometimes you may hear about people who are, going, who are going to start running mad. The thing we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about very, very spiritual things and you cannot take these things for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a black sheep of the family. You have awakened to that fact that you're the black sheep of the family. You must also understand that you're the chosen one. And there is things that you're here to do, but they are very serious things. So you do not take this whole process um, for granted. The family is going to go through, like I said, a very massive shift. There's things that are going to be shaken up. And this is some form of divine intervention. So when you see a lot of these things happening, or you hear about them, or you see them, you may not see them, but you may hear about them most of the times. You have got to know that the universe is doing its work. And you getting out of those units, um, means that you have actually broken up a very serious cycle in that unit. So when that cycle is breaking, do not engage. I've heard about so many cases whereby, you know, people have been going out there and of course they have been doing, do, doing this healing process. They have been mourning and everything. They have been working about, their, their, they have been working on themselves. And then they had something happening to their parents. And then they, of course, they are going back to see what is going on and what is happening with dad and what is happening with mom. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not how this thing works. Get out and stay out. You can only re-engage at a certain point in time when you feel that things, the dust has settled and things have come down. But that is going to take a lot of years. Like I've told you guys, ladies and gentlemen, these are spiritual cycles. They take a lot of time to break. Now, the mistake that you're doing of going back to those units that means that you're actually going back to fix things. Now, you're going back to fix things that you're trying to break. You've already walked away. You've walked out of those units. You've been bruised. You've been abused. You've been manipulated. You've been destroyed. All your life has, has been in pieces. You've gone out. What the universe wants you to do is uh, put all the attention and focus on yourself. It is time for you to heal. Because for you to be able to do anything in life, when you're talking about breaking, breaking generational cycles, all this thing includes healing. For you to be able to come back home to yourself, find purpose in life and meaning in life, and move towards the positive direction, the very first thing you're going to do is to heal. The healing is the one that is going to put you on the correct path, the path that is meant for you, because as a generational curse breaker, you are meant for greatness. But the greatness for you... To achieve this greatness, there is healing supposed to happen. Do not look back and go back and engage with those units. Let the universe do the rest. The universe has awakened you for a reason. The universe has awakened you and removed you out of these dysfunctional family units for a purpose. It is the beginning point of breaking generational cycles. So you have broken the cycle. It has been a complete cycle, but now you have broken this cycle. 
when you go back and join this cycle, that means that now you're fixing the cycle. Does that make sense? So when you are fixing the cycle, then it goes back to the same dysfunction that it has always been. Even sometimes it can even get worse because usually you're going to be punished for breaking out of that cycle. They never expected you to do that. Allow the universe to do its job. Allow the universe to do its course. Allow the things to shake up. There's a tower moment happening in that family. There's a lot of fightings going on between the siblings because I've told you guys, this whole thing we are dealing with is spiritual warfare. So there has been demonic activity that has been attached to a lot of people in that unit. Now, when you're broken out of that, that means that actually you have detached yourself from this demonic activity. And now what is going to happen, these cycles are going to start running through the other family members who are, who are not even ready to handle this amount of torture that you handled before. There will be fightings within family members. There will be a lot of abuse happening, of course, plus the similar campaign like we talked about yesterday. So there will be a lot of conflicts that are going on in that unit. The conflicts, they are supposed to happen. Without the conflicts, there is not going to be peace. There is supposed to be conflicts, there are supposed to be fights, there are supposed to be arguments. A lot of times you are going to hear about things that you're not, you're not even ready to hear. Even you, you will see, if you have got the chance to do that, you will see things that are not going to, you're, you're, not going to, you're not even ready for. I'll give you an example. If the narcissistic parent has been your mom, you go, you went away, so you detached from the unit. You've been out there, of course, doing your own thing, working on yourself, healing, and all, all this kind of stuff. In six months' time, actually, six months' time is a very long time. Let's talk about between three to six months' time. If you ever happen to get a glimpse of those individuals, how they look in that moment. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to realize what you've been dealing with for all these years. It is going to feel like the person that has been wearing this crown, I don't know, you know, there's, there's so many different types of crowns. There's a crown, angelic crown, there are also demonic crowns. But there's a person who has been responsible to pass on these cycles to the family members within and distribute these cycles to within the family members. So they have been the recruits, they have been the ones recruiting this activity to happen. Now, when you have left those people, it has been five months, it has been three months, six months, it has been seven months, it could even have gone up to a year. If that person has not passed on in that time, and you ever get a glimpse of those individuals, whether it is physically or whether you, you have seen them on a picture, maybe there has been a photograph, you, you landed on a photograph of the family photograph or things like that, you are going to realize that that person is decaying. The person that is decaying in that unit, that is the person who has been responsible for passing on these cycles to other family members. So that person has been the problem all this entire time. And most of the times you're not even ready to see this, but it could be even sometimes turn out to be your father. It could be your mother. It could be a sibling. But most of the times it is usually the narcissistic parent at the top. But if there is sometimes, for example, there were no parents in that family, it could be an uncle who has been taking care of the family. It could be an auntie. It could be another form of relative. That person is decaying and they're going through it all. You have caused them a very big injury because by you leaving that unit, it's like you're shattering their ego and you cause them a very, very serious narcissistic injury. It is the reason why you see when you're leaving those kind of units, you are going to see those parents, they are going to run very fast and recruit somebody else to bring in very, very quickly to the family. Because they feel that shake up and they feel that the whole world is falling down. It's getting, you know, it's falling down to the floor. So the whole foundation is falling to pieces. For peace to be able to restore in those families, which we all don't know when it will happen, how it will happen, how long it will take. There has got to be a very big shake up and that shake up is going to take some people. Everything you see happening. It has been a loss. It has been a death. I've seen about black sheep who have left the families and then they are hearing about the mother passed away, the father passed away. Those are part of the process. It is part of the process, ladies and gentlemen. This whole thing we are fighting is spiritual warfare and it does not favor anyone. In those units, if they have been a part of that cycle, most of the times it is going to sweep 
everybody with them. The things that you're hearing about, like sicknesses, deaths, you know, losses and, the, and stuff like that, everything is going to start. The whole world is coming down. You as a black sheep, it is the moment you are going to know how much power you've been holding in that unit. Before you moved away or before you got away, everything was okay. There was no chaos. Things seemed, like the, things seemed to be okay. On the outside, of course, like they, all, they, they want to believe things seemed to be okay. Everybody went, went along with their normal jobs, doing whatever it is they wanted to do with their families and the things like that. You walked away. Then you caused and you triggered a very big shift. So the whole entire foundation is going through a shift. There are some walls that are breaking. So when some of these walls are breaking, actually they meet land onto some other family members, unfortunately. And sometimes these are the things you are not ready to see. When you're leaving abuse behind, you have to know that actually you have already paid the price to be in that family. You have already paid the price by even being a part of it. You have walked away. It is time for your rewards. You have got to look back in these years that you've been a part of them. All these 20 years you've been with them, 30 years, I don't know, whatever. It depends how long you've been staying with those people. You have been paying a price. Now you walked away. It is time for you to get rewarded. When you are in the unit and you go back to that part of, to be part of that unit, you are actually blocking your blessings. There is things that are meant for you and there is a path that the universe wants to put you on a certain path. The path that is meant for you, the path that you're supposed to be on, your original path that actually has, had been hidden from you all these years. The universe is removing you so that it can put you on this path of success. When you re-engage with those units, you are, blocking your, you are blocking your path and you are blocking your own blessings. And you are even sometimes getting back and restarting this whole system afresh. And it's not going to work for anybody. Not for you and not for the family member, members that you've left behind. Give them time to live their life. Allow this wall to break. Allow the foundation to break. Because the whole entire family system has been built on a false foundation. It has been built on a false foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to me. The entire family system, as, you, as it appears to be normal on the outside, it has been built on lies, manipulation, witchcraft, all these kind of things you can think about that describe dysfunction, including narcissism. There is things that have been happening there, very dysfunctional patterns. Those are patterns that have been passed on from previous generations. So whatever is, whatever is happening in that unit, it has got nothing to do with them. It has just been passed on simply from the other generations before that. So it has got to break. Allow the foundation to break. There will be survivors, like I'm saying, there will be survivors usually, but there will also sometimes be losers. There are going to be losses, there are going to be sicknesses, there are going to be deaths. There's going to be every kind of chaos you can ever think about. That is because you as a black sheep, you are the person with the light. You are walking away because you are tired of this abuse. You cannot go back and re-engage in the abuse. So walk away, heal, and eventually you are going to discover that person you came here to be because the universe is putting you on this path of success and growth. On the other hand, the universe is actually moving some pieces together within the unit. So it's a, there's, a, there's a very big spiritual cleansing happening within the unit. Is the reason as to why you're hearing a lot, of, a lot of these things are happening. There is a spiritual cleansing happening within the unit. You have actually disrupted the whole nest of these wasps. It is like, for example, throwing a stone into the wasp, you know, you know those, 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 uh, the, the, the nests of those wasps, our wasps, and they're all going to come around and start buzzing everywhere and stinging everybody uh, along their way. So that is exactly what is happening with the unit. Allow this foundation to break. It has been built on a false foundation, ladies and gentlemen. Do not interrupt the process. It's a divine process. Allow it to happen. Let it go. When you feel within your heart and the universe wants you to reconnect, there will be some, some, some few family members that you may actually have to reconnect in some years to come. It doesn't matter. Maybe it could take, like I've said, every, every family is different. So one family may heal faster than the, than the other one. And other families may take 10 years to it. Nobody knows. It's not, it's not up to you. Get out. Stay out. Work on yourself and heal. And let the universe 
sort out the pieces and move the pieces within the unit. Whatever it is you want to hear or you're going to hear, it has nothing to do with you. That is one of the most painful part of a black sheep. I've even told you sometime in my videos, you may, have, you may even sometimes have to miss barriers. A person has passed on, you have been a black sheep in that family, you left and you're going back to barriers. The entire energy is going to be dumped onto you and you're going to be seen as the problem. Do not engage, ladies and gentlemen. This is a divine process happening behind the scenes. The universe has awakened you for a reason. Allow the universe to do the rest. And until then, guys, I'll catch you guys in my next one. You do know that I love and appreciate your support. Book a session if you want to. You may donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Desmos signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.